with Western Michigan women's tennis coach Betsy Kuhl. And coach just got back from Denver, Colorado for the NCAA Women's Coaches Academy. Uh, just talk about the event and what it was all about and, and what you thought of your experience there. Well, the event was really an amazing event. I have never been to anything like this in 28 years of coaching. And the, uh, the real premise of the event is that um, we're not really trained to be coaches. We're all trained in our sport. And um, women especially, I think, are, are starting to um, leave our profession. So the idea is to start to work on retention some. Right now, women are 42% of the jobs. So if there are 100% job for women coaches, 42% are filled by women. How did you get uh, you know, your invitation, or is it something you signed up for that you got invited to? How did you get to go to this year's uh, well, academy? They, they do select. They have three different three different groups, and they select 120 women out of Division One, Two, and Three in all sports. Uh, I was told about it by a friend of mine who worked for the USTA, who used to be a college coach, and she said it was a fabulous event, and so I thought, well, this sounds like a great professional development for me, so I got online, and they fortunately said, yeah, come on out. What were the range, obviously, you know, you've been here at Western for 28 years, what were the range of coaches, you know, that were there, like, in terms of age or experience and, you know, those kind of things? It was very interesting. It was, uh, I think the youngest was a head coach of lacrosse, at Ohio Wesleyan. She's 26, and then I think that the oldest, so I won't reveal her <laughs> location, but the oldest was a, uh, a coach who was 60 and had been coaching. I think I had been coaching one of the longest periods of time, 28 years. What, uh, you mentioned that it's, it's less about your sport and more about just coaching in general. What were some of the things that, that you were able to pick up, even though you've been you know, at this game as long as you have, that you were able to pick up at this event in Denver? It was really uh, enlightening, and it was also really, um, you know, I feel revitalized. We we talked a lot about your value systems and ethics. We talked about uh, generational differences, which was really really unique. Um, we talked about Title IX quite a bit. Talked about the history of women in college athletics and how that came about. I was fortunate enough to be uh, around with with the icons of women's college athletics. I think the, the younger coaches probably don't know what icons they are. For me, Charlotte West and Judy Sweet and Chris Voles are all icons in their profession, and they, they really are pretty much single-handedly responsible for getting women's athletics going. What uh, You talked about some of those things. How do you then turn and maybe implement some of those ideas and thoughts you know, into the Bronco women's tennis program you know, and maybe that's still something that will evolve over the next weeks and months as the next season approaches. But have you already thought about ideas or things you might implement into your program just based on this uh, event? There were, there were a lot of really good ideas for us to, to implement. One of my main goals will be to try to help the young women that we have in the program understand how fortunate they are, the opportunities they have, and help them understand what a what a great world college athletics is and hope that they would want to be a part of that in some way, shape, or form, whether they want to pass it on and, and they want to become a college coach or whether their daughters will go forward and, and be college athletes or maybe they'll just get involved in coaching at a, at a, you know, a local swim club. But I think, I think just to have female role models is going to be one of my main goals, is to influence my athletes to understand the importance of that. You talked about one of the issues that the academy discusses is retention and keeping female coaches in the game. Obviously, you've been at Western here for 28 years. What, you know, what is it about here, coaching, that's kind of kept you staying in tennis and maybe not looking elsewhere like some female coaches do and, and, being a, you know, and having this long, successful career up to this point? Well, number one, or that you were maybe even able to share with some of the younger coaches at the event. <laughs> number one is I never felt like I went to work. Um, you know, I, I they ask us, you know, what's what are the greatest pieces of coaching, and and one of the greatest pieces for me is the fact that I have such a an extended family here. Every day I come here, it feels like coming home to me. I don't feel like I leave my home and go away. I feel like I go home when I come here, and. And I think that's probably one of the biggest pieces that keeps me here. But just Kalamazoo in general and Western Michigan University, the great leadership that we've had here. Um, I've been fortunate to have Kathy Borgar as an athletic director. That's been one of my greatest things. I've also 
been very fortunate to work with great people, and particularly the two tennis coaches on the men's side, Dave Marine and Jack Vredevelt. Um, I've had a, a pretty much a, a perfect work environment, so that's been great. While we've got you here, real quick, we'll uh, just transition to finish up here. Um, your own women's tennis team, you know, for some of the fans who aren't as familiar, what, uh, you know, what does your team do? What kind of goes on in the summer? You know, I know some you know other sports stay here, but kind of what do your athletes work on or do during the summer? You know, especially with the international component, do those kids stay? Do they go home? And maybe you know, educate what your team does here during this off season. Well, three our three international players have all returned home. They are going to be working on their games, um, and the kids that are Michigan will be playing in the summer circuit. I'm assuming I, I haven't spoken with them in the last week or two, but there's a there's a really fantastic summer college tennis circuit that goes in July that gives the kids an opportunity to compete. So they go back to their respective places and they they have their fitness workouts and they have they love tennis so they don't stay away from the court very long. The ones that are here locally have the opportunity to call up myself or call up our assistant coach when they feel like it and get some get some you know some hitting in and doing some work on some things that maybe they don't have time to actually implement during the season. Well coach, thank you very much for the time. We appreciate it and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks Matt.